And that's right. F*** you. Warning. This episode contains high levels of... EXPOSITION! If you ain't about it, GET ON IT! Oh! All those tacks! All those tachyon particles! Ah crap, I stepped on a tachyon! That's not how those work. How's it going, buddy? Ah, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot to show you. This is where I've been for the past three months. Yeah, how much do you pay a month for this, man? Like, ten? Ten bucks? Who pays ten bucks for rent? I don't know. I mean, what is this, like a broom closet? No, just come on. Okay. Let, let me show you. So, Wolf, you haven't heard from me in quite some time, and there's a reason for that. Man, how long's it been? Like, five? Yeah. Something like that. Listen up, I got something to tell you. Butt loads. I've been on the brink of something amazing. And that video I sent you is only the tip of the ice chrome. I, ice cream cone. A chrome ice cream cone. Um, anyways, now what if not only communications between dimensions was possible, but also travel between dimensions? Huh? Ah, uh, well. I don't know. Now, it's only been conceptual so far, as one would need to harness the power of tachyons, faster than light particles, to be able to do such feats of science. Now, what I'm talking about is outside the realms of current science ability, so I suppose it would be the sneakers of science. Feats? Sneakers? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah! I'm not following. Shh. Now, Wolfie, what I'm about to show you has never been done before, I don't think. It is the stuff that fills science fiction and the dreams of little children and myself. And I wanted to share that with you. And the Nevernauts, of course. Uh, thanks. Have at it, man. Right. Uh, 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 let's get right on to it, huh? Now, Wolfie, shut up for a second. What I hold in this box is the key to interdimensional travel. And it's the key to many other things as well. But it's hard to explain, so I might as well just show you. Are you ready? I don't know. What? All right, then. I'm not following. What have I named this interdimensional time traveling path description spaceship of mine? Hmm? The Agilis. And I've got the plans for it right here. The blueprints to the Agilis. The achromatic anomaly apparatus whatsis. Agilis is not an acronym for that. An acronym for the achromatic anomaly apparatus whatsis does not exist, actually. All that needs to be done is to test it, which I haven't done yet, so under under any circumstance. Don't press the red button on the front of the Oh shit. Oh shit. Hold on, hold on.
I think we can work with this. For some reason, boy genius Nick Navarrod invents an interdimensional place-traveling spacecraft. With it, he and his newfound sidekick Wolfie and friends find an abandoned warehouse floating in the toilet pocket dimension of a cosmic space worm. With all tools necessary, they set out to help save endangered aliens across divides. The warehouse, danger, refuge, adventure, junk it, and then they talk about it. After loads of expositionary butt crap, Nick Neverod finally gets this shit show on the road. No shits was involved in the making of this show. <laughs> Crunk for helmets off, friend. Helmets off. <laughs> That's not the noise that you make. All right. <sighs> Welcome to the show from Out of the Never, concordantly yours. Give it up for the people at home, Wolf. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Hot for the people. Hot for the people, little monkey. <laughs> got back from harvesting steel wool from steel sheep. That's where it comes from. Many people don't know that. And many people don't know that steel wool is great for cleaning. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. That's that's broadcasting to you from the waste excretion vault of an almighty cosmic shitworm. Is that what we're calling Bob these days? We, <laughs> Why don't you call him by his real name, Robert? Rob. Bob for short. That's got to be the most uh, <laughs> low-key name for a giant almighty godlike worm. Just saying. Picture this. Worms dispose of things efficiently there on Earth. But where do things go on the cosmic scale? A lost sock here and there? A lost giant freaking warehouse? They get right here, baby. Pocket dimensions. And the giant space worms, they eat it. They eat all the, 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 the unused and unwanted crap of the universe and then poop it out into little cosmic toilets. Personal little universal toilets. Space duty is floating everywhere, basically. Where we are. Space duty, yeah! Ow! Ooh, 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 ooh. They poop it out, yeah. Yeah, uh, we probably shouldn't have a, uh, a theme song for that, but yeah, that's fine. Honestly, it's the best place to be if you don't want to be found, right? I mean, who's going to be looking for us in, like, the septic tank of the universe? We are going to be looked for. People will be looking for us. Who's going to be swimming around in a septic tank? Yeah, poop. Looking for us. Is that how you swim in poop? That's how I swim in poop. I'm talking about cosmogonal space pirates, man. Cosmogonal? Cosmogonal. Cosmogonal. Uh, hexagonal? <laughs> Gonoreal. Gonoreal? <laughs> Real in that Ghana. Hey, you thought there was there was uh, worms as as big as the universe. There's gonna be uh there's just gonna be STDs as well. I'm not putting that in there. <laughs> Cosmogonal space pirates, man. Bunch of loafy weirdos, if you ask me. Taking what they please. Not only inanimate things are lost out there in the can of worms. That's why we're here. That's right, Wolf. There are many unfortunate and wandering creatures out there in the universe. Are you all right? <laughs> as well as some curious ones, seeking new things of nifty. As are we. If lost, return to Neverod. Return to the Neverod. Thank you, Wolf. Oh, no problem. Hey, Nick. Tell them about those weebawees. I don't... Uh, do I have to? Man, I love those guys. Things. Do you love them? I love those guys! We took a little... Oh, f I bit my tongue. <laughs> I thought you were thinking about the weebawees again. Oh, f <laughs> <laughs> so, we took a little excursion onto this, uh, backwards-ass planet to find some people. 
some cast f members for the the, the, the the band. That's right. So we went to this planet full of these rectangular silicon-based leaching spores that pretty much anything it comes in contact with steals its DNA and turns into its host body. You know? The host with the most body. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Uh, and we decided to take a few of them home after you had to touch a few of them. Hey, I mean, they, they picked up those guitars pretty quick. Drumsticks, man, they, they were beaten away. Right, so we hauled them back to the ship and uh, they actually learned pretty quickly. I think they're cute. They're, they're actually pretty nice once you get to know them. But good lord, if you see one of them things growing... <laughs> I think they're cute, man. Ah, uh, okay. Weebleweez, weebleweez, yeah. We're not gonna have a theme song for everybody. Oh, yeah, baby. We also hired some others, a red bagley and then something else. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he loves is. his sweaters, though, man. He's got a different <laughs> one for every occasion. He does love his sweaters. But it's all the same sweater. It's... <laughs> He's got a different sweater for every occasion, but they're all the same sweater. Yeah. It's like one of those classic Hey Arnold cartoons where they all have the they all have the exact same thing. All those football heads out there. We're talking to you. To steer away from any offensive behavior. That's about as enough time as we have. Next time on Never Odd. <laughs>